In the early 2000s, Dubai's builders got busy making new land by the sea. The government's company, Nakheel Properties, led this big idea. They wanted to change Dubai's coast a lot in just 20 years. These projects weren't just about making more space, they also wanted to make amazing places to attract visitors and money. They planned to create unique islands like Palm Jumeirah and Palm Jabil Ali, plus other big projects. At first, Dubai planned six islands, Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jabal Ali, Palm Dira, the world, Dubai, waterfront, and the universe. They wanted each island to be special, making Dubai even more famous for luxury living and tourism. Palm Jumeirah, initiated in 2001 and finished in 2006, doubled Dubai's coastline with its palm tree shape. It hosts luxury hotels, private residences, and entertainment venues. A breakwater ring shields it from storms, ensuring its resilience. Palm Jabal Ali was supposed to be like Palm Jumeirah, but it stopped. This happened because not many people wanted to buy houses there. Nakheel Properties, the company doing the project, gave the money back to people who had already paid. It's near Jabal Ali port, but there aren't many buildings around it. Palm Dira was supposed to be the biggest palm-shaped island, but got smaller. This happened in 2013 because the work was going too slowly. Now it's called the Dira Islands. Right now, they're building stuff there like malls, tall buildings, and a shopping street. The World Archipelago is like a world map made of small islands. It consists of 300 islands forming a map of the world. But despite being started 17 years ago, the project remains unfinished and faces significant challenges. They bought most of the land before the money problem. People bought some islands, but nothing got built because of money issues. Also, the water between islands is getting filled with sand, and the sea level is going up, which causes worries. Dubai waterfront is star and crescent-shaped, meant to shield Palm Jabal Ali. But it's not as far along as other projects. They stopped working on it because of money problems and not enough people wanted it. The universe was meant to go with the world, with islands shaped like stars and planets. It was going to be one of the biggest man-made projects ever. But it never got past the planning stage. A project recreating constellations is expected to be completed between 2023 and 2028. Out of all the planned artificial islands in Dubai, only Palm Jumeirah has been completed in the past 20 years. However, Palm Jabal Ali and the world are facing challenges. Reports suggest they might be sinking into the Persian Gulf, causing concern as a significant investment has been made in them. If these islands sink, it means they're gradually going underwater. Why do you think these islands are sinking, and what other problems are they facing? First of all, Dubai's man-made islands faced financial troubles due to two main reasons. The global financial crisis that started in 2008 and a drop in oil prices in 2014. These events hit Dubai's economy hard because it heavily relies on industries like real estate and construction. When the crisis hit, property prices fell and investors pulled out their money from projects, including the man-made islands. Imagine you're building a big project, but suddenly you don't have enough money to finish it. That's what happened to the developers of Dubai's islands. They had to stop construction, which caused delays and made things uncertain. Also, because people couldn't pay what they owed, debts piled up, making it hard for developers to borrow money to keep going. Legal issues also popped up. Developers, investors, and contractors got into disputes over money and contracts, making things even more complicated. With all these problems, it became tough to attract new investors or restart the projects. The financial crisis made it clear building these islands was not as easy as they had thought. The risk of sinking also hangs over these islands, especially the world archipelago, posing a big threat to their stability and long-term success. This worry comes mainly from how they're built. Workers take sand from the sea to make the islands bigger. But taking sand away messes up the natural balance, which could make the islands sink over time. Reports and warnings from experts have shown this sinking is happening, which shows we need to act fast to fix it. One problem caused by sinking is that it blocks the channels between islands, making it hard for boats to go through. Even though people are worried, there are arguments in court because some companies think it's not true that the islands are sinking. Besides the trouble with moving around, sinking islands can hurt nature a lot. It can mess up where sea animals live and make the land around the islands break away from the sea, hurting nature even more. The erosion of construction materials is another critical issue they are facing. They are primarily constructed using marine sand and rock. 
despite the suitability of marine sand for construction. Its use has led to erosion, causing a gradual loss of material over time. This erosion occurs due to natural forces like wind, water currents, and waves, as well as human activities associated with construction and development. This destruction of construction materials has significant implications for the stability and integrity of Dubai's coastal areas. Coastal erosion results in the loss of landmass, exacerbating environmental challenges, such as coastal degradation and habitat loss. Additionally, it can lead to changes in the coastline shape and morphology, impacting the area's aesthetics and functionality. Construction activities, particularly on larger projects like Palm Jumeirah, have accelerated erosion rates in the region. Alterations to natural wind patterns and water currents caused by construction intensify erosion, leading to more rapid material loss over time. This accelerated erosion not only affects the stability of the islands, but also poses environmental risks. This erosion also has adverse environmental consequences, affecting marine ecosystems and biodiversity. Coral reefs, oyster beds, and other marine habitats may be buried or damaged as a result of sediment, deposition, and erosion, leading to habitat loss and degradation. Addressing this issue requires implementing mitigation measures to protect and stabilize the constructed islands and coastal areas. These measures may include erosion control structures like breakwaters and retaining walls to minimize the impact of waves and currents. Additionally, efforts to restore and enhance natural habitats such as coral reefs and mangroves can help mitigate the environmental effects of erosion and promote ecosystem resilience. The rising sea levels due to climate change is also a major concern for the suitability of these artificial islands. They are protected by a large wave breaker, which sits just two meters above sea level. The purpose of this barrier is to shield the islands from waves and ensure uninterrupted views for residents and visitors. However, experts caution that this protective measure may not be enough if sea levels rise dramatically, especially in extreme scenarios. In such cases, the consequences could be catastrophic for Dubai and its residents. The islands, already vulnerable to erosion and other environmental pressures, would face increased risks of flooding and damage from higher sea levels. This could jeopardize the safety of infrastructure, homes, and businesses on the islands, posing significant challenges to their long-term suitability. Moreover, rising sea levels can lead to alterations in marine currents, further complicating the situation. Changes in currents may affect the flow of water around the islands, potentially exacerbating erosion and other coastal hazards. Additionally, the loss of local biodiversity, including coral reefs and marine habitats, adds to the environmental impact of the island's construction. Addressing the threat of rising sea levels requires comprehensive planning and adaptation strategies. This may involve strengthening existing protective measures, such as the wave breaker, to withstand higher sea levels. It also requires implementing measures to eliminate the environmental impact impacts of island construction and protect vulnerable ecosystems. We've uncovered the challenges behind their struggles in creating these islands. I hope you found this video insightful. There's more to find out on similar topics. Don't forget to subscribe for future updates and share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.